Recording podcasts, it's a ton of fun. Recording remote podcasts can be a bit of additional work. There's really nothing more defeating in life in general than recording a killer podcast, opening up the recording software, and hearing... Especially when you have a guest that isn't able to just pop back in the studio and retake a whole section. This was the exact situation that I found myself in with my nine to five job, where we needed to record podcasts remote, we needed top quality audio, and we needed it to work perfectly every single time. A quick note, this video is sponsored by Riverside, so this is not a review, which you typically see on this channel, but I agreed to working on this partnership because I've actually used Riverside in the past and it's a killer program. When they reached out, it just felt like a no-brainer. Okay, let's quickly start by answering the big question, why Riverside? Why not just a video conferencing app that lets you also record each guest? Well, these platforms are designed for two very different things. Video conferencing platforms will upload each guest's feed and then record what was uploaded. So this means that it captures any buffering, any delays, any rubber banding where the person seems to pause and then spit out a ton of words really fast. Riverside, on the other hand, records locally on your computer first and then uploads that file while letting you have that simultaneous video chat. So it's basically like two programs running at the exact same time. Now the equivalent would be like having a FaceTime or a Zoom call with your guest and then also simultaneously recording into Pro Tools and having your guest record into Pro Tools and then syncing them up manually later on. Now Riverside just does all of this at once. So let's go ahead and dive in. So once you log into Riverside, this is what you're gonna see. So you have your studios, which are basically like your podcast room, if you will. It's like a, it's like a room where your guests can come in. So let's go ahead and create a new studio and we're gonna call this one demo session. And you can see here, we can change the recording type. Now it mentions that you'll still see each other during the call, but this is only gonna affect what gets recorded. And we're gonna go ahead and enter the studio. So once we create a new studio, this is what it's gonna look like here. You can see it's sourcing from my webcam now. We get an opportunity to change our name, so I'm just gonna leave it as Randy. This is how the guest is gonna see your name in the session, so make sure you put whatever you'd like it to show. I'm using headphones. I'm gonna put that, because I've got my headphones here ready to go. Uh, I think that if you put I'm not using headphones, it's gonna use some sort of like noise canceling or try to mute each speaker as they're not speaking. I imagine that's what's happening. So if you can use headphones, definitely it's a good practice to do so. And over here on the right side, we have a preview of our webcam and you can change between your different cameras right here. And you can see this is currently set up to 720p 30 frames. And that's because my ZV-1 only records at 720p. If you have a higher resolution camera, it's gonna see that there as well. And then you can change your microphone. In this case, I'm just using the built-in microphone for this demo, but you can change it to your specific microphone that you're using for your podcast. And then for your output, you can make it your headphones or an interface if you have something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and join studio. Okay, and now this is sort of the podcast dashboard that you're going to see. You can see how many guests are currently in. You get an invite link right here, which is also showing up down here. We'll go over those permissions in just a minute. You can see if you're recording or not, the status of the recording, and if it's uploading to the cloud, that's gonna show here. And then you have the recording info. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this um, demo recording. And you can see a little bit of the specs here, so 720p. Right now it's just me. I haven't sent out any invites. And you can see they're, they're showing you invites everywhere, here, here, here. They really want to get people in your call. So it's not just yourself. And what's really nice is for, um, people with permissions to see this, you can actually see the recording levels of your guests and you can mute people in the call, which is really handy and also see what their uh, devices are. So that's really helpful for producers to say, hey, it looks like you're using your built-in microphone and not the interface that you have plugged in. And they can say, oh yeah, that's true, I do. Across the bottom, we've got record, pretty basic. We have our microphone controls again, camera controls again, speaker controls again. We can share our screen or do a presentation, which is great leave the call. Uh, we can see the people that are in the group. So if I click people, you'll see shows who's here. We've got a chat option, which is lovely. And then we have some media options, which are kind of cool. You can just play these like little drum hits or what, what have you. I'm pretty sure your guest doesn't hear that, um, but you'll hear it and it'll be saved in the recording as well. Okay, well, let's go ahead and invite a guest here. Oh, hello. I think we're ready to get started with today's podcast. Are you ready? I think so. Okay, let's do it. So I'm going to go ahead and click record. And you can see it gives us this nice handy countdown. All right, welcome to our podcast. Bailey, you look lovely today. Why, thank you. So do you. Thank you. So one thing that's important to note here is you can see sometimes it glitches and sometimes there's a bit of delay. That's just the preview. That's what you're previewing. The magic of Riverside and what's happening in the background is that it's recording both of our feeds simultaneously and then uploading those after. What we're seeing 
It's just a preview, so it can glitch, it can get lower resolution sometimes. It's not something that we have to worry about. What did Bailey have for breakfast today? Well, first off, thank you for having me on the show. It's my pleasure. Thanks for being here. Honor. Um, for breakfast, I had yogurt with blueberries and granola. Um, yeah, yogurt parfait, if you will. That's great. Do you want to know what I had for breakfast? What did you have for breakfast? Yes. You're going to be mad at me. Uh, well, coffee? I had two coffees to start, and then I had, That's and then I had a baby bell cheese. So you can see Bailey's completely glitched here. That's okay. We're going to get her back. It's not a big deal. And so what's really cool is if we take the recorded version and add that in, you can see we never lost any information here. So you had, you had a snack this morning with some coffee. <laughs> okay, so once we're done, we go into the recordings here and we have a recording of our podcast. Up the top, we've got options to share this recording with like another colleague or a producer. We can export a Premiere Pro file and we can edit and create clips. Now down below, this is where the magic of Riverside really lives. So we have each person's high quality feed directly from their device and we can edit and download those individually, which is great because that's preserved. But so let's go ahead and create a 16 by nine here. Now you can see it's actually created this entire transcript right here, which is just so cool. Um, and I can go ahead and play this back. All right, welcome to our podcast. Bailey, you look lovely today. Why, thank you. So do you. But let's go ahead and edit down here. And now what's wild about this. So this is like a normal editor. You can see here as I drag, it's going to, you know, get rid of different parts. I can create a split like that. But what you might be noticing is that this is happening on the left hand side here, which is editing by the transcript. Let's say I want to get rid of this section here. I highlight it. I press delete. And you can see down at the bottom, it's just no longer in my video. Um, this is awesome. It's really, really, really handy, especially for people who don't have a ton of audio editing skills. The fact that you can just edit this like a text document, you can hop on a plane and just edit it like a text document without having to open Premiere or Resolve or whatever you use. So you can see up at the top here, it's actually keeping up with the upload pretty good. So as new stuff is recorded, that's pretty mind blowing to me. Of course, there is a little bit of babysitting. Sometimes those edits don't sound absolutely perfect. And that's where you'll need to go through and just adjust these bounds just a tiny little bit. But what I think is probably even more useful than the text editing is just being able to find stuff in your edit. So if we had a moment like, oh, I know I talked about breakfast with Bailey. Let's see what we talked about. I can type in breakfast. If I could spell properly up here, you can see there are four results. What did you have for breakfast today? And I can comb through like you would expect with like a, um, you know, Google sheet or something like that. You just click next and it's going to take you to the next spot and look down here. You can see every time Bailey mentioned breakfast and you can see every time that I mentioned breakfast. This is so cool. This is so handy. Now I probably personally wouldn't use a transcript editor because as an audio guy, I take way too much pride in my audio, probably to a fault. Like this is going to do a good enough job that most people won't even care. I'm just like, a, I'm stupidly picky about that kind of stuff. So I'm going to send this whole podcast to an editor and edit it the good old fashioned way because my pride is just overwhelming. Um, yeah, that's something that I need to work on. What I find really, really useful about this search box is just being able to search for like a slate word or something that you say every time you mess up. That way you come in here, you type in your slate word and you know, okay, boom, 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 boom. I've got seven spots that I need to go in and edit. That can speed up your editing process like crazy. And then you go to those sections, you find the piece that you didn't want. It was this sentence here. I didn't want that because that's dumb. I wouldn't ever say that. Gone. It's out of your project. Done. Riverside is literally as close as you can get to like sending a producer to your guest's house and having them help out with the recording without actually having to send an entire human being somewhere and pay for airfare and all that other stuff. I think the biggest time savers for me personally are the auto syncing, the reframing of different aspect ratios and the live stream capabilities and just the overall ease of use. It also just happens to look really slick for your guests. And that may not be a hugely important thing if you're doing like an indie podcast or something like that. But from the corporate perspective, this was a huge win and having a producer there on the call makes it pretty dope. Okay, that's it. I hope this was interesting, entertaining, inspiring, all that good stuff. Thanks Riverside and we'll see you soon.